Doug Brakewell was a, a, a butcher grocer on the corner of uh, Indian Road Crescent and, and, and Annette Street. He certainly did do a lot for our family because there was times when mom didn't have the money to get the groceries and we used to do our shopping down at Doug Brakewell's. Mom would write a, a note of what she needed and we would take it down and Doug would fill the, uh, the order and uh, we would bring it back and he said, don't worry about it, your mom can pay next month. I can remember working for Doug. We'd be sitting in the back room having butter tarts and coke. But then, you know, years later, I can remember going in to see him and uh, I looked at the shelves and they were empty. And I thought, uh, and I said to Doug, what's wrong, Doug? Uh, you have no stock in the store. And he says, Lauren, he says, uh, Things are really rough, he says, uh, well, I'm not making the money anymore. Most people now are going to the big supermarkets to do their shopping. The business has been going down. And he said, I'm not able to uh, uh, manage with what's going on now, he says. And then one day, I went back, not that long later, I went in to see him and his stocks were filled again with canned goods and stuff like that. And I thought, geez, Doug, uh, I asked him, I said, what happened, Doug? And he said, well, I was in a, a church raffle and I won $1,000, so he put it back in the stock. So then it was a number of months I went back in to see him, and of course, the, the, the shelves were empty again, you know. And then that's when he said, can you do me a favor, Lauren? I said, what's that? He says, uh, I, need to, I need the money to pay the last payment on my mortgage, on my home. I said, don't worry, Doug, I'll get you the money. And I said, don't worry about paying it back, Doug. You don't owe, us a th you don't owe me a thing.